today. Today we're going to do lesson plan 5, grade 4, term 2. Um, the topic is problem solving, addition and subtraction. Um, this is a topic I simply love, problem solving. Um, a lot of people always ask, why do we do mathematics? Why do we need to know all these formulas and all these complex things? Um, it's because we want to create problem solvers, not to, to just use formulas, but to really create problem solvers. And that's why we need to understand problem solving from a very young age. So again, yes, parents, you need to create a love. You really re need to remove fear. You need to use the correct resources. When you got get extra support, get the right people to do the extra support. You need to get your children to be independent and they need to be responsible for their maths results. Um, so this worksheet then links to worksheet 30B and 32B um, in your DBE book. I'm just going to show you 30 and then 32B. Um, let me go back. Um, you will see here's the CAPS link. Um, now again, you can pause um, and look at the resources, the interesting fact, um, something fun to try. Um, this doesn't always have, have to happen just before the lesson, but what you can also do is you could share it with your learners or your children at home at any time. Always look for the nice things um, around why maths is so important. Um, then we're going to start, we're ready with our mental mathematics, so the children can come closer. Um, and what we're going to do is you're quickly going to answer this on piece of paper or orally and pause the video. Welcome back. Um, let's reveal the answers. So you quickly have the answers, mark, pause it and mark it. So let's quickly look at problem solving. So what I want you to do, all the learners and children, I want you to have a look at these pictures. And when I say the word problem solving, how do you feel? Tell your mother, father, teacher, how do you feel? So I hope by the end of all the SA teacher lessons and worksheets, this term, I will have faces like this. Like this, I'm interested. Oh, it sounds like music in my ears. I want to do more. I've got a big smile on my face. Those of you that still worries, doesn't like it, doesn't feel strong enough, want to stick out your tongue because you don't like it, we want to remove that. Because if you feel like that in your head, you will never be able to do mathematics. So let's see. So today, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to go through basic steps on how you can solve a problem. Remember, there are hundreds and hundreds of methods. You can even go and Google different ways, but I'm going to give you one of my favorite um, methods. So when we get a problem, we first go to read and underline the question. What are you looking for in this problem? Then we're going to circle the keywords. What are the keywords that are helping me to tell if it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division? I want you to circle the key numbers and hidden numbers. So now sometimes we got key numbers and sometimes we got hidden numbers. For example, they can ask us to um, mom bought two apples and another three apples, how many apples did she buy? Five apples. Easy, because the numbers were there. But now you can have hidden numbers. Mom bought three apples. Um, she bought another two apples. Um, and she looked at the five pairs, but didn't buy them. How many did she buy? Just a very basic example of how numbers can be hidden. So sometimes they put numbers in, in problems and you don't have to use them. So then what you do is cross out those numbers you don't need. You can then, what after you identify the keywords, the numbers, 
the characters that's maybe playing in the story, you can make a picture of it or use concrete apparatus. Then what you're going to do is you're going to write a number sentence. So let's go back to the apple example. 3 plus 2 equals placeholder, that little square that you have learned. Remember that uh, placeholder. Parents and teachers, remember that placeholder later becomes x, y, or z. It becomes a variable. Then show all your work. All your working. How did you solve that problem? Uh, write step by step down because when you want to explain it back to somebody else, it's very important to help, help have those steps. Then what you need to ask yourself, does your answer make sense? If we're going to say that mom bought three apples and then another two apples and your answer is 500, it doesn't make sense. You always need to see and say to yourself, does my answer make sense? So these are basic guidelines. So let's quickly then go to the problem solving. So what you have here is you have different examples. So what we did is we gave Andrea collects 345 marbles. Her father gives her 105 more. And what we did for you at this stage is to highlight the question. How many marbles does Andrea have now? So how many marbles does Andrea have now? Already, how many marbles does already gives us an indication that we need to add? What are the numbers? 345 and 105. Those are our numbers. In here are no hidden numbers. Who are the characters? It's Andrea and a father. So you can make a drawing of that and then you're going to solve. So what we have here is you can pause your video at this stage and then you can solve these three very important is rather to explain the stops the different steps of how you're going to solve it so let's scroll then down after you pause it sorry you're going to pause do all of them and then you come back now what you're going to do is you're going to become creative i gave you three different number sentences and what you need to do is you need to write down those problems now. Remember what you need to have. I gave you two numbers. You need to give me a word for plus, like all together. You need to have some characters in your story and you need to have a question. Good luck. Sorry, we, now we have it nicely on my screen. So there's another problem solving that you can um, carry on and answer or complete. And then what you have is you have, again, again, some examples from other question papers or previous question papers, some MISA examples where you solve some puzzles. Um, here's some games um, that you can do. Um, and then you can then purchase the worksheets and the lesson plans from our web shop and then lastly for the consolidation you're going to if you got all yeses you're going to carry on with the next lesson if you got no's you need to revise revisit or you need to speak to somebody at SA teacher